second in progress video for my beetle bot. Well, there's probably not glare, but oh well. Um, on my face. So, uh, I have a little bit done. Not too much, but uh, I got a good amount. Uh, okay, so this is what I have um, as of right now. I put the heat shrink tubing over my motors, and I have new motors, okay? I uh, went to Radio Shack and got some new motors. These are 1.5 volt. In my last um, video, I had 9 volts, so I had to go get these new ones. Okay, so I have those. And here's the battery cover. Uh, I uh, had to glue those down. As you can see, there's some glue right there. Um, these are glued down using some uh, of this craft bond rubber cement, no wrinkle, um, acid free, photo safe. And so, yeah, that's what I used uh, for this Elmer's. And it's it works perfectly. I wouldn't use a hot glue gun or anything. Um, because with um, this stuff, if you don't like where you set it down, it'll take longer to, like, harden. And you can kind of maybe move it around a little bit. So, yeah, it took about a day for each of these to dry. So, that was about two days. But the only reason it took that long was because it was basically plastic to plastic and... There was extra glue down there that had to dry and, you know, everything. And also, uh, my tip on my soldering iron, it, it's not really working right. So I had to take it out and put in a new tip. I haven't used it yet. Um, so I'm planning on using it for this. Uh, when I have to solder those two connections together. And then I have to, like, put a wire across and, you know, everything. But uh, soon I will be getting the metal to go across this in the mail so that I can connect my motors and set them down and, you know, then I can start wiring everything up. Uh, so, yeah, I'll probably have my motors done in the next in progress video. Yes, there will be three. Uh... So yeah, that's what I have right now.